I have one video that is at like 290,000 views. I think we're gonna have to revisit this, this test uh, with the Flex Fold Advantage battery. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will be revisiting this test with the new battery. Let's see what this, oh, what these can do. Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the rigid octane quarter inch hex impact driver versus the dewalt xr quarter inch hex impact driver now in this video i want to test out the flex volt advantage battery that i just got in a kit i'll put the that video right here i want to see if there's a difference between the regular six amp hour flex volt battery versus the flex volt six amp hour battery advantage that's going to be in a future video so please subscribe to the channel now when it comes to rigid i've only done a couple i only have a few rigid tools which i need to get more there are a lot of tool brands i gotta get so i could do uh so i can compare companies between other companies but this one is going to be about these two i really haven't used the octane that much which i need to do more octane videos and so, yeah. So let's look over the specs of these really quick and see what these could actually do against each other. Alrighty, so for the DeWalt, this is model number DCF887, quarter inch hex collet, uh, three speed settings. First speed is zero to 1,000, second speed zero to 2,800, and uh, the third speed is zero, zero to 3,250, and this goes to zero to 3,800 impacts per minute. Try LED work light on the front, which I like that because, uh, this shines exactly where your the screw and the bit go, which I like the I like the LEDs on the front. And this does have a diffuser, so you're not blinding people uh, next to you. So as you can see, so I so I, I like that feature that they put on there. So we, we will be using a six amp hour flex volt advantage battery. All right, for the rigid octane, this is model number R eight six zero three nine, quarter inch hex collet. Uh, try LED try LED beam light on the front, and that, this does not have a diffuser. So as you can see, it does not change the lum it doesn't change the light. It just shines bright all the way around. All right, so this this I believe has six speed settings. It has uh, it has mode for uh, bolt, screw, and then auto, or you could just have this the speed, and it'll go to speed one. Speed two, and speed three. All right, so the max uh, RPM is zero to 3,000, and the impacts per minute is zero to uh, 3,900. So that is 100 impacts per minute more than the DeWalt, and the RPM is 250 less than the DeWalt. So let's see what these can do against each other. I'm, I'm curious myself. I, can, I haven't done a video of this yet, so. Let's see. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All right, so first we're, we are gonna start off small and then work our way up. We are gonna do one timber lock each, one six inch specs, and one six inch by one eighth inch lag. We're gonna start that off first, then we're gonna move our way up to the bigger stuff. Is the DeWalt a push in collet? Yes, it is. The DeWalt is a push-in collet. Okay, first we are going to use the DeWalt. The battery is full. All right, so the battery is full, you guys. The next time we'll check the battery is at the end of the video. It is on speed three. Right here is good. Let's see what this can do. Ready? Go. Time. It is the rigid octane push-in collet. Yes, it is. I love that feature. I'm actually curious. I haven't done this video yet, so I'm seriously curious what this will do. All right, so ready, go. Time, that seemed like it did a little slower job. Wonder where that guy's from. Not sure if you can see that. It's a stink bug. All right, so let's take it out. You know what? I want to do something. I want to do something uh, different. This one, I want to put them in individually, but then have the tools take them all out at once. And I'll just stop the timer when 
One screw is done and restart it back when it's at the next, next screw. All right, so the next we are gonna do is the specs. All right, so ready, go. Time, it, it does seem like it's beefier with this battery. It does seem like it's beefier with this, with that battery. It might be different when it comes to the drill, but when it comes to the impact driver, that seems like a little, it's a little bit more powerful. Now, Octane next. Oh, one more thing. It does have a uh, separate uh, trigger for the lights right, right there. All right, so ready, go. Time. DeWalt's turn for the lag. The one eighth inch lag right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Did it pretty quick. Did it pretty darn quick. Ridges turn. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. That seemed like it did it slower that time. Yeah, I, I felt like Richard was behind on that one. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take uh, the three out at once on one timer. Let's see what they can do. All right, so ready, go. Let's continue. Time. Last one for the DeWalt. Ready? Go. And that is done with that test for the DeWalt. Let's do the rigid. Ready? Go. Down, two to go. Continue. And last one for rigid. That quick, that quick insert collet is, I, I love quick insert collets. Continue. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Like I said, we'll look at the battery life at the end of the video. Alrighty, so let's uh, jump up to the bigger. These these guys can handle it. Let's do a six inch and let's do a six inch, uh, half inch lag, and we're gonna do a five eighths, eight inch lag. So this is gonna be a good one. We'll do it right here. Then we'll do the rigids next to it. All right, that's good. All right, so ready? Go. I think that's it. Yep, but time. That is it. That did that pretty quickly. Did that pretty quickly. Okay, let's do... Let's do the rigid right here. That should be good. All right, so ready, go. Time, 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 time. All right, let's take them out. Up, oh, need to reverse it a little bit. There we go. Both, I will say, both of these are very loud. They both are very loud. All right, so let's take the DeWalt's out. Ready, go. 
DeWalt is quick. This bag, like I said, I have to test this battery out against the Milwaukee again. I have to redo that video. That's that's actually that that I that actually blows my mind a little bit. All right, so ready? Go. Alrighty, now we need to go up to the 24 millimeter impact rated socket. Very good. All right, these are bigger, so we're going to go over here to this side where I have a lot more space. Right here is good. So both of these are still cold. Like, I'm not feeling heat from these guys because it's like 40 degrees outside right now supposed to get like to 28 degrees tonight so right now these are these are still cold all right so ready go Ooh, I actually I smell that. I smell that a little bit. Now it's hot. Let's do a quick temperature reading. 80 degrees, 88, 70, 89, 88 degrees. I found a spot where it's 89, but that's the average. That did it though. I like this is seriously. If you compare, who cares about the length? It is a much harder task to do. So yeah, so it, it struggled. It's uh, that that was skipping like crazy. See, this this type of stuff is when I'm worried about my adapter breaking. All right, next we will do rigid right there. Let's see what rigid can do. All right, so ready, go. So there's more to go. And that's where it stops. Let me focus, pay attention to this uh, to the tack life symbol. Time. It did it. So never mind on it stopped, it actually continued. Alright, let's do a quick temperature reading on the rigid. Saw triple digits. Where was it? All right, same thing. Eighty nine. I, I saw. I saw like a hundred degrees somewhere, but I can't find it again. You know, it's still like I said. Both of these are still cold. They're still cold. Haven't broken triple digits yet. Keep my fingers crossed that this Makita half inch to a quarter inch adapter doesn't break. Because this actually is a hard, a hard task. Those five eighths inch by eight inch uh, lags, galvanized. It's, they're hard tasks. All right, so ready, go. Time. 
That did that quick. That did that quick. All right, so let's continue on the, the rigid. Ready? Go. I feel like the DeWalt took that one. And that is it for the test that we're gonna do. Uh, we are gonna do further tests with different batteries against these two in the future. All right, so the final battery life on the six amp hour for the uh, flex float is full bars, which that's a three bar system, it's not four. So it's probably on the brink to be at like 75%. And on the rigid, there's three bars left out of a four bar system. So the, I, I think the batteries, I think the batteries lasted the, will last the same. Very quickly, the final temperature. Yeah, these, both of them are still cool. 88 degrees, 80, yeah, 88, the highest spot, 84, 88. Yeah, they're both, they're both still in the double digits. When it comes to which one won, I am not too, I think the DeWalt one, in my opinion, but they, they both of these are very loud. They both, both of them are very loud. Now, like you do have more features with the rigid when it comes to different types of modes instead of just one, two, or three. It was good as to do this test. I haven't used the rigid in a while and it's actually, it actually is pretty powerful. Now we use the six amp hour octane battery with Bluetooth capability. So you could actually download the app and uh, track the battery. Yeah, I think, I think you could also deactivate the battery if it, goes to a different proximity. I might be wrong on that. I gotta look into like the Milwaukee One Key and the Bluetooth stuff. I gotta really look into that and investigate it and see how, how those actually, how they all work and not just one brand. But yeah, like I said, the model number for this is DCF887. The model number for the Rigid is R86039. That's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.